Betelgeuse, a name that resonates through the annals of astronomy like a mysterious legend, is a star that has long captured the imaginations of both professionals and amateurs alike. Situated in the constellation Orion, this red supergiant, which has been a fixture in the night sky for eons, is now making waves with its increasingly erratic behavior. Over the past few years, astronomers have been on the edge of their seats as they track Betelgeuse's strange fluctuations in brightness and its unpredicted dimming events. The once steady and reliable star has turned into an astronomical puzzle, and it's this unpredictability that's making the universe seem all the more enigmatic. Located about 650 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse has long been one of the brightest stars in the night sky, easily visible to the naked eye. This colossal star is roughly 1,000 times the size of our Sun, and its luminosity is a staggering 100,000 times greater than the Sun's. In fact, the size and brightness of Betelgeuse are some of the characteristics that make it so captivating. The star is nearing the end of its life, in the final stages of its existence before it transforms into a supernova, a cosmic explosion so intense it could rival an entire galaxy in brightness for a short time. Despite being a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is somewhat of an enigma. Stars like Betelgeuse are typically much older, having exhausted much of the hydrogen fuel in their cores, causing them to expand dramatically. These stars are also relatively short-lived compared to smaller stars like our Sun, burning through their fuel quickly and ending their lives in spectacular fashion. When a massive star like Betelgeuse finally exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will undergo a massive collapse which will lead to a catastrophic explosion, a supernova. In the case of Betelgeuse, the supernova is expected to be visible to us on Earth, possibly becoming bright enough to be seen even during the day. But the road to Betelgeuse's supernova is far from predictable. In fact, Betelgeuse has become something of a cosmic celebrity, regularly stealing the spotlight with strange behavior that has kept astronomers on their toes. The star's recent dimming event, which occurred in late 2019 and into 2020, was particularly intriguing. At first, astronomers thought this could be a harbinger of Betelgeuse's impending supernova, a sign that the star was about to go out with a bang. After all, such drastic changes in a star's brightness can often precede a violent explosion. But as observations continued, the mystery deepened and it became clear that the dimming was not the result of a simple collapse or explosion, but rather something more complex. The dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019 was so extreme that the star's brightness dropped by a factor of nearly 100 times, causing it to fall from one of the brightest stars in the sky to barely visible to the naked eye. This sudden decrease in brightness was so remarkable that it sparked widespread interest from the scientific community. In fact, Betelgeuse's dimming was so severe that it could be seen with the naked eye, even by casual observers who may not have realized that something unusual was happening. Initially, the sudden dimming raised the specter of Betelgeuse's impending supernova. After all, supernovae are often preceded by significant changes in a star's luminosity. But further study revealed that the dimming was more likely due to a massive ejection of material from the star's surface creating a dust cloud that obscured the star's light. What makes this event particularly intriguing is the fact that Betelgeuse is in the final stages of its life. As a red supergiant, it is running out of fuel and is slowly expanding and cooling. The core of the star is composed of heavier elements like helium and carbon, which are the remnants of its previous nuclear fusion reactions. Betelgeuse's outer layers are unstable, and the star regularly experiences massive convection currents that transport material from its core to its surface. These convection currents can lead to significant outbursts of material, which can cause the star to shed mass in the form of powerful stellar winds and plasma emissions. This process is common for stars of Betelgeuse's size and age, but the scale of the mass loss is much greater than anything seen in smaller stars like our Sun. In fact, Betelgeuse is losing mass at a staggering rate, about 30 times faster than our Sun. This process is so intense that it has been observed to create massive clouds of dust and gas around the star. These clouds can block the light coming from the star, leading to the dimming events that have puzzled astronomers. While it's still unclear exactly what caused the 2019 dimming, scientists believe that it was a result of one such plasma emission, a massive outburst of material that obscured the star's light. 
the size and speed of this emission were so large that it created a temporary dust cloud that blocked out much of the star's light from our perspective on Earth. This event was a reminder that Betelgeuse is not a typical star, but rather a massive, unstable giant that is constantly changing. It's a star in its death throes, slowly shedding its outer layers as it prepares for its inevitable collapse. But while Betelgeuse's dimming may have been dramatic, it also raised questions about the future of the star. Could the star's behavior be a sign that it is about to explode? Or is this just the latest in a series of normal fluctuations that will continue for millions of years before the supernova finally occurs? The answer to that question is not yet clear, and scientists are still working to understand the nature of Betelgeuse's behavior. Adding another layer of intrigue to this already puzzling scenario is the idea that Betelgeuse may not be alone. Some astronomers have raised the possibility that Betelgeuse could be part of a binary system, a pair of stars orbiting one another. If this were the case, it could explain some of the strange behaviors we've observed in the star, including its rapid rotation. Normally, red supergiants like Betelgeuse are expected to have relatively slow rotations, but recent data suggests that Betelgeuse is rotating at an incredibly high speed, about 5 km per second, which is far faster than expected for a star of its size and type. This has led some scientists to hypothesize that Betelgeuse might have swallowed a companion star, which could have transferred angular momentum to the red supergiant, speeding up its rotation. The theory that Betelgeuse could be part of a binary system is not new. In fact, it has been discussed for years, but the evidence for it has always been circumstantial. However, recent observations have provided tantalizing clues that this might indeed be the case. For example, images taken by the ALMA, Atacama Large Millimeter Array, radio telescope have suggested that Betelgeuse's surface is moving at an unusually high speed, which could be a result of interactions with a nearby companion star. Furthermore, there have been indications that Betelgeuse has experienced some kind of violent interaction with another star in the past, which could have caused it to accelerate its rotation. But if Betelgeuse does have a companion star, why has it been so difficult to detect? The answer likely lies in the relative sizes and brightness of the two stars. Betelgeuse is an incredibly massive star, with a mass around 20 times that of the Sun, while its companion is thought to be much smaller, around 1.7 solar masses. This large difference in size means that the companion star is easily outshone by the much brighter Betelgeuse, making it difficult to detect with current telescopes. Additionally, the two stars are likely in close orbit, with the companion star revolving around Betelgeuse at a distance of just a few radii of the red supergiant. This close proximity further complicates the task of detecting the companion star, as the light from Betelgeuse would likely overwhelm any faint signals coming from its companion. Yet despite these challenges, scientists are determined to find evidence of the companion star, as its existence could explain a number of the strange behaviors observed in Betelgeuse. For example, the star's unusual light fluctuations, which occur on a cycle of about 2,170 days, could be related to the orbit of the companion star. As the two stars move in their tight orbit, the amount of light reaching Earth would change depending on their relative positions, causing the observed fluctuations in brightness. Additionally, the companion star could play a role in shifting the distribution of dust around Betelgeuse, influencing the star's light curve and further complicating our ability to understand its true behavior. The idea of a companion star also raises further questions about the nature of Betelgeuse's eventual fate. If Betelgeuse does indeed have a binary companion, the two stars could eventually merge in a cataclysmic event that would result in an even more powerful explosion. Such an event would be a spectacular sight, potentially visible across the entire night sky and visible even during the day. However, the exact timing of such an event is impossible to predict, as it depends on a number of factors, including the stars' interactions with each other and the rate at which they are losing mass. For now, astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse with the hope of uncovering more clues about its behavior and the potential presence of a companion star. New telescopes and observational techniques are allowing scientists to peer deeper into the star's structure, and with each new observation, they get closer to solving the mystery of this enigmatic red supergiant. Whether or not Betelgeuse is on the brink of becoming a supernova, 
or whether it is simply undergoing the usual fluctuations of a dying star, is still unknown. But one thing is certain, the saga of Betelgeuse will continue to fascinate astronomers and stargazers alike for years to come, and the answers to its many mysteries may hold the key to understanding not only this star but the broader workings of the universe itself.